Hartford Fort Healthcare and our pediatric surgical services. Everyone here is excited to help you, and we can't wait until you feel better soon. Your family can stay close to you the entire time you are here. You can also bring along a toy, stuffed animal, or blanket. When you first arrive, you can expect a lot of activity. Everyone here will be happy to help answer questions and provide you with directions. You will go to the ambulatory services department and talk to the receptionist at the big desk. A lot of people will say, hello, and give you big smiles. They will check you in using a computer, just like a hotel. This is so the nurses know you are here, so we can start getting you ready for your stay. You even get your own wristband. Next, a volunteer will take you to your room. You will be here until you go to surgery, and unless you stay overnight, this is the room you'll come back to. Your nurse will say, hello, and be there to help you the entire time you are at the hospital. Nurses love to help kids. They'll explain everything they do, so you understand what is happening. Before we can start your surgery, you'll change into a colorful gown, made especially for your size. Information is important. Your nurse will need to take some measurements such as how tall you are, how much you weigh, listening to your heart with a stethoscope, checking your temperature with a thermometer, checking your blood pressure with a little band that goes around your arm. The band will give your arm a big bear hug for a second and then let go again placing a small plastic clip that lights up on your finger to help check the oxygen in your body. Don't worry though, none of this will hurt at all. Once your nurse finishes checking you over, you might have some time to play until your next visitor arrives. There will be a box of supplies that you might see during your visit for you to safely look at and check out. One of these is a silly hat for you to wear. You get to dress just like the staff. You may need to have an IV for your surgery. An IV is a special super tiny straw that goes into a vein. Your veins carry blood and oxygen through your body. The IV helps give your body a drink and provides the medicine. There is a small poke at first, but the sharp part comes right back out and only the tiny soft straw stays in. Some kids have their IV placed in their room, but others have theirs placed in the surgery room. Some special guests will stop by your room. One of these visitors to your room will be the nurse anesthetist. The anesthetist is in charge of giving you medicine to help you sleep during your surgery and to help you wake up when everything is all done. Your doctor, who will be doing the surgery, will stop by too. The doctor will explain what will happen during the surgery and also make sure everyone's questions are answered. The last of these visitors will be a nurse from the operating room who will ask a few questions and see how you're feeling. You will hear lots of people ask what your name is, <laughs> but don't worry. We didn't forget. It's a rule we have to keep you safe while you are here. Once you're all ready and set for your surgery, it's time to say, see in a little bit, to your mom and dad. The nurse that you just met from the surgery room will escort you to the room that is ready just for you. You will get a nice warm blanket for the ride in your bed back to the operating room. You can walk with the nurse if you'd like to. Don't worry, you can still keep your toy or blanket with you when you go back to the surgery. Once you get to your operating room, you will see lots of bright lights and shiny equipment. You may have seen some already, but all the people in the operating room will be wearing hats and masks. We wear these to help us protect you from germs. If you want to know what something is, or what it does, you're welcome to ask someone. There are some pretty neat things in there. It might seem really bright in here. That's because we like to keep our surgery rooms really clean and to help the doctor see well during surgery. Once you are settled, your operating room nurse will ask you a few more questions. Remember, we like to double check things a lot it helps us keep you safe. When you are getting settled in, the nurses will put stickers on your tummy and back. These stickers will connect to a computer screen that tells the doctors how well your heart is beating and how well you are breathing. The anesthetist that you met earlier will give you a special mask that is soft and can go over your nose and mouth. 
The mask helps the nurse anesthetist to give you medicine for you to go to sleep. You will see that the mask connects right to a hose to pump in the special air. You will start to feel tired, then fall asleep. You will be asleep during the entire surgery. You won't feel a thing while the surgeon is fixing your body. After your surgery is all done, you will be moved to our post-anesthesia recovery unit. That just means it's a place for us to keep an eye on you right after surgery. Sometimes we call it the recovery room. The doctor will come talk to your parents to let them know how well everything went and what the next steps are for us to keep taking care of you. Your family can come to the wake-up room to see you. You probably won't remember this part because you'll still be pretty sleepy. Your nurse will ask you how you are feeling. Be honest. If anything hurts or if you don't feel good, let us know. We can help. You will be in the wake-up area for about a half hour. Once you've woken up all the way, you'll head back to your normal room. Your nurse will take all those measurements that we did in the beginning all over again. If patients are doing well after surgery, we have special treats like popsicles, jello, juice, and ice chips. Sometimes, kids get to spend the night in a special personal room upstairs. That room will have a TV and games to play. Most of the time, kids get to go home after their surgery, though. When we are sure you are feeling all better, we will get you ready to go home. We will remove the special straw and take off the stickers. You can put your normal clothes back on, too. Your mom and dad will get instructions on what to do next to keep taking good care of you. A nurse will answer all of your questions and your mom and dad's questions, too. They will also be told what to do if you start to feel bad if you need to take any medicine, and if you need to take some time to rest at home. And don't forget to take everything you brought with you home. Remember to always let someone know if you have any questions. Your mom and dad can ask too. Thank you for letting us spend a few minutes with you. Remember, everyone here at Fort Healthcare and our pediatric surgical services want you to feel better. <laughs>